Hey guys, what is up? This is Mr. Crayfish and welcome back to another redstone tutorial. In this tutorial today, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to build this mini gambling machine. Now if you remember the gambling machine I made before, you could say that this is its little brother. So whenever we put an iron ingot in here, if all these three lights turn on, it's going to um, generate an output here and this is highly configurable to whatever you, you want. So I've decided just to connect this output up to a dropper and it's just going to dispense one diamond for us. So as I said, when these three lights turn on, we are going to win. So let's put in an iron ingot and see what we get. All right, we got one light, so we're a bit unlucky there. One light in the middle. Oh, and we got all three. So as you can see, we now have a diamond, but that cost us three iron ingots. So let's try that again, see if we can win another diamond. So that's two iron ingots three so far nothing that time five that was six seven eight so it took eight ingots that time so it is quite random and I'm gonna be showing you how to build this now so what you're going to need is 33 redstone dust eight redstone torches 10 redstone repeaters four redstone comparators, five hoppers, three droppers, three redstone lamps, one block of redstone, one chest, and 64 blocks of your choice. Now I've just got some extra blocks just because I'm going to be doing some decorating at the end. Now the first thing that we are going to do is dig a two by four by three deep hole, so two wide, and then we've already got one, two, three, four and then dig out these three blocks here and then just dig this down two more times then you want to come to the front right corner here and we're gonna place one chest down and then while jumping we want to place our hoppers down going into this chest here so hold crouch and then jump right click and then do that again so we reach the top here and then we're going to get our blocks of choice and we're going to place two here one there and then on this first one towards that block here we're going to place a redstone comparator and a redstone repeater going into that block redstone under it block to the left of it and then a redstone torch on this front face redstone repeater facing to the front block in front of that redstone repeater and then a piece of redstone dust on top of that and this is going to be our payment system for the gambling machine now at the back of the payment system here what we're going to do is dig down two blocks to the left here and we're going to do that two more times so one two then we're going to dig ahead three times so one two and three and then just on the fourth one here, we're just going to dig one block down. On this block, oh. on this block here, coming out from this block here, we're going to place a redstone repeater, and then we're going to place redstone dust going this way, up here, up these stairs, and then one more at the end there, so we should have two on the top of this grass. Now before we get onto the internals for the machine, we're going to just create the display real quickly. So leaving one space from this corner over here, we're going to place one block down, leave a gap, place another block, leave one more gap and place another one. Then get your three redstone lamps and place them on top of those three blocks. Behind each of these blocks, we're going to place a re another block behind it. And then we're going to place redstone repeaters going into each of these redstone lamps. Behind the redstone repeaters, crouch and then you want to right click so we place a block behind each of them. And then we're going to come down again so we're going to place three blocks on the back here so one, two, three. Do that for the other two. On the left side of each of these block, on the left side of each of these top blocks here we're going to place a redstone torch. And then starting from this torch um, at the leftmost one, we're going to place redstone under it, redstone under here, there, 
there and there. Now continuing from this redstone wire from before, what we're going to do is place one redstone repeater down, connecting to that wire, um, facing towards the back, then we're going to place a block in front of it, then we're going to go up one, and we're going to go up to the right here, then destroy this one on the top. Then alternating between our blocks here, we're going to place one dropper down, and then we're going to place our block of our choice, so make sure you crouch, place another dropper, crouch, place your normal block, and then another dropper, and place a normal block, then we're going to come down again. Now get your three hoppers, and you want to place them in front of these droppers, so crouch, right click, each front face. Under each of the hoppers, place a redstone torch. And then we want to dig out the blocks in between these two um, torches here. And then the first one here. And we're going to place redstone repeaters in each of the holes. So one, two, and three. But on this first one here, make sure you set the delay to a four tick delay. So that's all the way to the end. Coming out of these comparators, we're going to place a redstone, or coming out of these hoppers I mean, we're going to place a redstone comparator facing towards the front. We're going to have two redstone on top of these blocks here, so you do that for all three. And then we're going to place redstone coming all along the top of here, so when you place it on top of the uh, uh, dropper here, make sure you're crouching. So you come along all this way, and then down one more. Now we need to come back to the payment system here real quickly, I forgot a vital piece of it. So to the left of this comparator here, we just want to dig out that block, and then dig out the block under it, place a redstone block down, and your remaining piece of redstone on top of that. And then for this final torch, we're simply going to place um, a block of choice at the end of this powered redstone dust, and then we're going to place a redstone torch in the end, and this is going to be our output. Now all the building has been complete, what we need to do is actually make this machine work because right now if you put something in this hopper here it's not going to work at all. So what we need to do is come around to the back here to our droppers and we need to put in two items. One item that can stack up to 64 and one item that can only stack to one. So an example is just one piece of cobblestone and one sword. So you need to put one of each. Um, in the droppers, so one cobblestone and one wooden sword. Now these are the, pretty much the cheapest materials or pretty much the cheapest items you can get so um, it is quite survival friendly. Other option is, is you put in like a diamond block for here or a diamond sword if you're feeling rich. Okay I was just joking about that and look the rain come. Now to configure the payment that the person will have to put in to run the machine is up to you so I've decided to use iron so it needs to be able to stack up to 64 you're not going to be able to make a diamond sword or something like that as a payment for this item it has to be something that can stack up to 64 and what I've chosen is just some iron so you're going to need 60, 63 of that item and what we're going to do is in this bottom hopper here we're going to open that up and then in the four remaining slots we're going to place in wooden swords or an item that can only stack to one and then in the first slot we're going to place our 63 iron. Now the gambling machine is basically done all you've got to do now is configure the output to your choosing so one thing that you can do is you can get a dropper you can place it in front of that redstone torch there and then you can dispense some diamonds so whenever these three lights turned on this um, dropper will get turned on and it will dispense one diamond to the user if you want to make more simply we could do something like this um, actually I'll change that around a little bit <coughs> we could bring that up one and then we can just get some extra redstone and then run it on top of all these um, droppers here and we can place um, a diamond in each of them so whenever somebody gets all three lights on they will get three diamonds. Uh, it could also be something like a door, maybe it would open door for a split second, um, which would be pretty pretty like unfair because it would only open for a split second, but maybe it would take you into a really secret room. I don't know. It's really up to you guys how you want to make this, or what you want the result of this um, machine to do, but one of the most common things is to win an item of some sort.
Now the last thing that I'm going to do is just basically decorate it. So I'm going to place three logs going up in between each of the lights here and also on the ends. We're going to replace this wood down the bottom here with gold blocks. Three gold blocks there, three at the top. Then on top of here we're going to place seven slabs just to cover up and make it look a little bit nicer. Now we're at the point in the tutorial where I'm going to teach you guys how this works. So it is quite simple. Here we've got the payment system and I've used this throughout a ton of my um, redstone contraptions in the past. So basically whenever um, this iron ingot or the item at the front here reaches 64, it's going to output a signal through the comparator here. This is going to go around. Um, there's redstone underneath this block here, so that powers this block under it and turns off this redstone torch, turns off this repeater, turns off that redstone and allows one of these items to go through so it resets back to 63. Out this way we have redstone going towards the back here and what this, is, what this is doing is activating all of these droppers here. Now if you don't know, droppers dispense randomly so it's either going to dispense the cobblestone or the wooden sword. Now because this is the maximum stack amount for the wooden sword, it'll give a full full power when it is compared on the comparator here. So whenever it goes into this hopper, it's going to give a full 16 signal out of the um, comparator. But whenever the cobblestone goes into this hopper, um, the comparator here is only going to give a signal strength of 1, so it's not going to reach up to this redstone here and turn off this torch. So that does it for all three of them. So the all random so we might get a sword in this one, sword in this one and then a cobblestone in the end and that means you won't win but if you get swords in all of them then um, it's obviously going to power um, all, all, these, all this redstone here which then turns off the torches and then allows this torch to be turned on. Now at the back here we've just got a simple way to reset the um, hoppers here because once we dispense them into the hopper here, they're not going to go back because they're currently powered by these redstone torches. So this simply just delays the um, time for it to um, put the item from the hopper back into the dropper here. And then these redstone repeaters simply just turn off these redstone torches. Now the powering of the lights at the front here is very simple. So um, we're capturing the power from when this redstone here is turned on. It powers this block and then the redstone repeater will extend it into the light here. So that is very simple. And that is it. Now it's going to simply cover up the grass or gr cover up all the redstone here. So cover that up, but make sure you don't go any further than this, uh, <coughs> this row here because it will cut off the redstone and that won't be able to get powered. Now to finish this off, we're simply just going to test it out. So let's go ahead and we'll stick one iron in. Boom, okay, we didn't win. Yeah, look at that, straight away, two shots to get that, and we won a log. No, that was a rip-off. But as you can see, it is, it can be, it can be lucky, you can be lucky sometimes, but then sometimes um, you might not get lucky for, oh wow, three shots, that is quite rare, that is quite rare. Let's try that again. So that's three. Oh, we didn't get anything that time. Four, five. That took five shots that time. So, so that's going to end off this redstone tutorial today. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you want to see more, make sure you subscribe. If you have any ideas for redstone tutorials, let me know in the comments because I do take a look at the comments of each redstone tutorial to see if you guys do suggest anything. Um, I'm kind of interested in carnival games at the moment, so if you guys have any ideas for that, let me know, and I will see you guys next time for the next tutorial. Bye-bye.